This is my preliminary fall forecast for the 2024 season. I will go over the model forecast for both temperature and precipitation, as well as my preliminary handmade weather maps. Diving into the model runs first. Our initial observations are that there will be above average to well above average temps in the West, as has been occurring for a while now and ranging from possibly below average to above average temps in the East. While our overall confidence in these forecasts for the West are high, the forecast for the East is much more complicated because there are several factors, such as large cold shots coming from Canada, that make it much more difficult. In terms of precipitation, mainly average to maybe slightly below average precipitation is to be expected, but it is really just a guess as of right now. The areas that see above precipitation are most likely the areas that will see a high concentration of thunderstorms, though La Nina may have a role in giving the more northern areas more precipitation. You may be wondering, what exactly influences these changes in the weather from season to season? This season is influenced by the change from El Nino to Enso Neutral. As shown, Enso Neutral typically leads to colder weather in the northern areas, warmer weather in the southern areas, and wetter weather in the southeastern areas. As we start to transition into winter, we will transition from an Enso Neutral to a La Nina, which will be discussed in more detail in a later video. Now we will get into my preliminary temperature, precipitation, and overall fall forecast maps. Starting with the temperature map, temperatures overall are expected to be colder than average in the north-central and northeastern areas, while temperatures will run warmer than average across the southeast, south-central, southwest, and northwest areas. Temperatures will be especially warmer than average for the west coast, as they have been the entire summer and especially this month. Meanwhile, Temperatures will be coldest in the far northern areas highlighted. One specific thing I would like to point out is that the majority of the country will likely be warmer than average throughout early fall before cold shots begin to settle in, likely around the late September to October timeframe, though there may be some earlier than that. I just wanted to clarify that the colder temperatures caused by cold shots will likely be more persistent and impact a larger portion of the country in late fall likely October through December. For my precipitation map, wetter than average conditions can be expected across the southeast, mid-Atlantic, and northwestern areas, while drier conditions can be expected across the southwestern and south-central areas. Conditions may be especially drier than average for parts of Arizona, New Mexico, and southwestern Texas. The transitioning ENSO neutral to La Nina is playing a major role in these expected precipitation patterns. Just remember that this is only an educated guess, and any areas on this map could get heavy thunderstorms that exceed their average rainfall averages. Some places can even surpass them with just one day of heavy rainfall. Likewise, the opposite can happen as well, and some areas may get no rainfall at all just because thunderstorms did not happen to form over that area. One thing to note is that as we get into late fall, north central and northeast areas will likely trend drier than average. And now for my favorite part, the overall forecast. For the green section, rainy conditions are expected. This is expected with this type of pattern, and people that live in these areas are used to it anyways, so it shouldn't be too big of a deal. It will be warmer than average as well, but mountain snow at the highest elevations will be prevalent in late fall despite the warmer weather. Overall, this season shouldn't be much different than other past La Nina years. Speaking of mountain snow, that is exactly what we're expecting in the white section. This section covers the high terrains of the Rockies, where snow, especially late in the fall, will fall pretty consistently. This is also not too much of a surprise, as this happens every year. Whether we see more or less snow than average, as well as how early it starts to fall, is still in question. Let's shift our attention towards the south. In the orange section, warm and dry conditions are expected this fall, we have been experiencing these conditions all summer throughout these areas and unfortunately not expecting any major relief during this upcoming fall season. Additionally, monsoon season is likely to be less severe than normal and is probably going to end earlier than normal as well, which will likely worsen the situation for many. Hopefully, we get more relief this winter. In the red section, stormy conditions are expected. 
With considerably warmer than average temperatures and somewhat above average precipitation, they will be primed for consistent thunderstorm development, some of which could be severe. Once low pressure systems begin to form more consistently around midfall, I expect there to be numerous severe weather outbreaks throughout the Southeast. Additionally, as many of you Southerners know, any cold shots have a very low chance of making it here. In the dark blue section, colder conditions are expected. These colder conditions will be much more potent and numerous later in the fall, but cold shots may start to arrive earlier than what people are used to. Conditions will likely be drier than normal in late fall, but around average to maybe even wetter than average in the early fall. In fact, don't be surprised to see some pretty nasty, severe weather outbreaks in late September and October. This will flip to snow chances by November. In the light blue section, colder conditions are expected late in the fall. Much of this area probably could have gone in the stormy section displayed by the color red, but this area is relatively used to experiencing stormy and mild weather during fall. What this area is not used to seeing is the chance for an early start to winter-like temperatures, which is exactly what we're expecting as a result of some of the cold shots. This area will likely remain relatively warm and stormy until October, which is when cold shots will start to push into the area in greater and stronger numbers. Although a cold shot cannot be ruled out earlier, they will not be very strong and will likely only affect the areas in the dark blue section. Snow is not expected in this area this fall. That chance will probably hold off until December. You never know though, there's always an outside chance. Areas in the purple section will be on snow watch later in the fall. This means that the storm tracks, along with the chances of increased and intense cold shots, will create increased opportunity for snow to fall. If we do manage to get snow, it likely won't be much and won't stick around for too long. Don't expect snow in the early fall for any of these areas. It will just be too warm still. In mid-fall, these chances start to pop up for parts of Michigan and far northern Maine. In late fall, the chances extend to all of those areas highlighted. Getting snow that early isn't unheard of, but it surely isn't the normal, so we'll have to monitor that chance. Our final area is the other white section over the Great Lakes, where lake effect snow is expected. Like the purple section, the chances increase the later in the fall you get. It is not uncommon to get lake effect snow in late fall, but I think this year's lake effect will start earlier and be more frequent because of the transition from Enso Neutral to La Nina. The cold shots will be a major factor in this area. If the cold shot is not potent enough, the lake effect may just fall as rain rather than snow. The last thing I will mention is that hurricane season happens to overlap with fall, and this season is expected to be hyperactive. With these type of years, tropical trouble could happen anywhere from Texas to Maine, so always be on alert for that possibility. There are other people who will provide much more detail into that, but that is not my specialty. With that, thanks for watching. Make sure to give it a like and subscribe for more updates.